too much fun to stop. Good to see you guys again. Just picked up the guitar, walked into the living room about 20 minutes ago. Welcome to our unedited, unrehearsed live stream sing-along here in Canyon City, Colorado. Isn't that amazing? I love the fact that you care to join us. And good to see some of your names popping up. Hey, making Mississippi's getting rain. Hi, Eva Martin. And there's Carletta Lehman. And of course, we got Lacaria, Betty Miller from Shipshawana, and Turnberg. Fernberg? Turnberg. <laughs> I'm probably really blowing your names. There's Hager Towns, Chester and Alice, Jay Beachy. Good to see you on. Hi, Barb Miller. Victoria Turnberg, or call me. Okay. <laughs> and there's Ruth Ann from Ohio. Good to see you on deck. All right. What's that? Oh, Anna Hooper. Yes, there's Arvetta Martin. Rufus, you're not, are you on the road? Oh yeah, you must be, you're in Iowa. Mary Lynn Harrington, oh my lands, names go flying by. Hey, it's good to see you all. So here we are and um, hoping to spend the next hour or so just kind of rejoicing together, uh, put, doing some of the requests that were given and it is a lovely day here in Canyon City. It's already slowing down a little bit, the, uh, or calming, cooling down. That's what I meant to say, and actually slowing down for me too. I spent a day um, in the thrift store back in what they call the barn where all the stuff gets processed. And uh, I'm in the housewares department. I actually sent Ruth a couple or a picture today of something I thought maybe we should buy with a yes or a no, and she said no. <laughs> uh, it was a, one of them blooming onion makers. I, I just got hungry when I saw that picture. <laughs> Anyway, and then Trevor, he spent the day at the thrift store. He'll be joining us, I hope. And um, of course, Ruth's here. And we got a sofa delivered today behind us. You see it? The problem is it's wall to wall. And we don't have any, any room to put our side, our little, uh, what do you call them? End table. So now we're not sure what to do with it. And we, we knew when we bought it, it was going to be that way. Anyway, I think I'm going to like it. We are so glad you're here. Wonder how your day went? And, um, yeah, and we still can't see the emojis. That's just crazy. And we're doing a little jumping tonight again. Ah, seems like I have to kind of not make any abrupt moves or something. Isn't that something? Well, here we are. What are we going to do? Is Trevor ready? Trevor, are you ready? If you're not, let's do... popcorn and uh, rascal got past the cowboy he didn't get past the cowboy hat stand and went in there and he said he really got a sweet deal because they had a high price on the hat and uh he he negotiated and the guy came down did he, did he come down 10 bucks trevor something like that mm -hmm. hey one of the kids asked for the auctioneer song so i'll wear it later then right oh it's a little bit tight for me though <laughs> doesn't really look like an auctioneer one with that that red, white, and blue on the bottom of it there. Anyway, children's section. Here we go. <laughs> Popcorn, you might want to step back a little bit so that your head shows up on the screen. I don't know. I know you like more. to be close a little bit more. Is he back against already? There you go. There go. I like that. Now move over between the two of us there. Hey, there's Popcorn. Let's play a little more. 
My head's hiding now. There you go, you got it, buddy. Anyway, kids, we blew the horn for you. We're going to start with Jesus Loves the Little Children. Go ahead, honey, who asked for it? Hey, Michael Swanson requested that. Michael Swanson, the key of D. Jesus loves the little children. something give me that hat now let's see if this works here it's been a while so i hope i don't lose all my words there oh this hat is a little bit loose for me all right there you go buddy what do you have down there <laughs> what's it for hey, uh, tyler who's 12 requested the auctioneer so. tyler this is for you you better get your uh, number start bidding on this well, there was a boy in Arkansas who would listen to his mom. She told him that he should go to school. He'd sleep away in the afternoon, take a little walk, and pretty soon you'd find him at the local auction barn. He'd stand and listen carefully, then pretty soon he began to see how the auctioneer would talk so rapidly. He said, oh my, it's do or die, I gotta earn that auction cry, I gotta make my mark and be an auctioneer. There ain't a lot of bidding, not a fit, not a bidding, not a fit, not a bidding, not a sick, not a bidding, not a who's gonna give me $55 bid. $55, not a sick, not a sick, not a seven, not a seven, not a eight, eight, not a nine, not a soul, not a home for a $90 bid. But as time went on, he did his best and all. He didn't just practice calling bids both night and day. His pot would find him, they'd find him on just to work it up. An awful storm as he tried to imitate the auctioneer. His dad said, son, we just can't stand to have a mediocre man sell things at the auction using our good name. I'll send you off to the auction school and then you'll be nobody's fool. You can make your mark along the bed. So from that boy who went to school, there grew a man who played in gold. He came back home, a full-fledged auctioneer. And the people came from miles around just to hear him make that rhythmic sound that filled their hearts with such a happy cheer. His fame spread out from shore to shore. He had all he could do and more. Had to buy a plane to get around. Now he's the best in all the land. That's all to give this man a hand. He's the best of all the auctioneers. Come on, popcorn big! Third and out of bidding, out of four and out of bidding, out of fifty, out of bidding, out of six, out of bidding, out of who's it gonna give me a sixty-five dollar bid? Sixty-five, out of seventy, out of seventy, out of eighty, out of eighty, out of ninety, ninety, out of hundred. So that I all put a hundred dollar bid. All right, but we got lot one twenty-nine. Bring him out, walk one, boy. Third, out of nine, forty-nine, fifty-nine, seventy-nine, out of eighty-nine, eighty-nine, ninety-nine, ten, nine, ten, one, ten, one, twenty-one, thirty. Yep, I'm thirty-nine. So to Ruth Misty for a hundred and thirty dollars. Silver popcorn. <laughs> hey, guess what? There's going to be an auction out here. When is it? A couple weeks from now, I think. And it, and, and it popcorn. Hey, you put it on your head, popcorn. Oh, hoo -hoo. you look hot with that thing, popcorn. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, but I tell you, um, there's going to be an auction out here in Canyon City, Colorado. 
And some folks brought something all the way from Pennsylvania, no, from, from, from Ohio, wasn't it? And uh, wow, it was so awesome. Their tranny went out on the way out. That was that an was awesome. Pennsylvania. That was Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's right. And uh, it, it, the fundraiser is, the auction is for the school, the Christian school here, and my heart's in Christian education. You guys know that. And also for the safe uh, ministry, which is uh, um, stopping uh, sex traffic, trafficking. Uh, boy, I got to get more information. I will. But you can come out and bid on stuff, or you can send stuff. Just kidding. <laughs> well, actually, you could. Uh, but if you're in the area, come around and, and have some fun. Boy, I'll tell you, Gene, Gene Wanger, my uh, nephew, he had a chicken barbecue out there at the thrift store a couple Saturdays ago. Mm-mm-mm. Well, it was good. I was going to call him back and get some for Sunday, but I didn't have the nerve. I was afraid he sold it all. All right, back to the children again. Tar uh, Tyrell, who's four, requested the birds upon the treetop. Uh, Tyrell, I think you asked for this one before. I love it. Popcorn, can you move over a little bit more towards Mama? Yeah, now they can see you better. That's perfect. Picture perfect. There's that. that looks, all you need now is your six shooter, right? Never mind, never mind, popcorn. I didn't say that. <laughs> the birds upon the treetop sing their song. Tyrell, the angels chant their chorus all day long. The flowers in the garden bend their feet. So why should I? Why should The birds upon the treetops sing their songs. The angels chant their chorus all day long. The flowers in the garden bring their food. So why should not? Why should you praise him too? Hi, Thomas Welfley. Good to see you from Milford, Delaware. That was a fun time down there, you guys. Down there in Milford when we were there. All right, now. Oh, she wants that. You, you, you sure? We should have one more for emotions for popcorn. Okay. What do you think? What do you, that's popcorn uh, building up the temple or deep and wide? We didn't do the puppy song for a while, did we? The doggy and the women? Oh, I so wanted to bark. I'll have to tell you a story about that sometime. But anyway, more stories about the barking, but not not right now. Um, well, okay, we'll, we'll do, we'll do, um, we'll do, um, which one did I say? Birds of or deep and wide, or another one. Oh, building up the temple. Let's do that. Yeah, let's build up that temple, popcorn. Thing is, they can't really see you do it. Building up the temple. Building up the temple. Helps out, kids. Building up the temple of the Lord. Say, brother, won't you help me? Sister, won't you help me? Building up the temple of the Lord. Tanisha, now why do you want to hear that this old house song? You ain't old enough for that. I guess you look at me and you think, huh? <laughs> a 
that is a fun song. It's a good song. This old house wants to my children. This old house wants to my wife. This old house wants to be comfort as we fall the storms of life. This old house wants rain and laughter. This old house heard many a shout. Now she trembles in the darkness as the lightning walks to the back. But I ain't gonna need this house no longer. I ain't gonna need this house no more. Ain't got time to fix the shingles. My old hound dog lies breathing. He don't know I'm gonna leave. Else he'd wake up by the fireplace and he'd sit there high and breathe. But my hunting days are over. I ain't gonna hunt for two no more. Gabriel Dunn brought in my chariot way and the wind blew down the door. I ain't gonna need this house no longer. I ain't gonna need this house no more. I ain't got time to fix the shingles. I ain't got time to fix the floor. <laughs> you clean the old farmhouse basement of the day, you don't want to hear much about old houses. Well, I'll tell you one thing. You've got your old house looking nice, I'll tell you that. Yeah, Eileen, <laughs> I'll tell Trevor that he, he'd love to see that hat bounce on him when, when I barked. <laughs> uh, quite a few people thought that Trevor was actually barking, you know. But uh, uh, he can't take the credit for everything. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Well, I have to tell you what, Mom, while Ruth's getting, Mom, while Ruth's getting that other, um, other uh, song up, uh, the other day at the thrift store, you know, all kinds of stuff comes through there. Sometimes you can't resist just playing with it a little bit. Today, a big old bubble machine with a circular that blows bubbles came through, and I noticed that there was soap in it, but it had dried out. So I put water in there and shook it around a little bit and turned it on, and sure enough, it Sure enough, it worked, and he was blowing bubbles for a little bit, so I was going around trying to blow bubbles on people. Not much. You know, I'm supposed to be working now. <laughs> but anyway, so they, this doggy came. You know how you make doggy on a string, and you make it walk and stuff? And the guy was playing with it, and somebody said, Take it home to your wife. Well, the people were watching him up there, and I'm going like, ow, ow. And, and the one lady looked, or the one gal looked at it and said, Does he bark too? <laughs> She was embarrassed, but anyway. <laughs> All right, what do we got, hon? We're switching subjects. Okay, Arlene Martin requested Home of the Soul. Home of the Soul. What a beautiful song. I, I remember, was it the Becky and Yumi and I that sang this one? And we really loved it. Help us out here. We're gonna do this one in the key it's written, and I think, well, maybe we better not. Yeah, we won't. We'll go with E as an elephant. If for the price we have striven, after our labors are o'er, rest to our souls will be.
Jack Slow. Good you can join us. I'm forgetting now where you said you were. <laughs> and hi, Susan Herbert from Virginia. Good to see you here. And by the way, we have a treat for you. A while back, I think I might have told you, Galen wrote a parody uh, to, to the tunes of Rocky Mountain High. Yeah, I, I cut it out. I put it in the book and everything. I think I did. I wrote the chords to it, Rocky Mountain High. It's a parody. It's in with the parodies. Um, so you, you didn't get it? Okay, we'll, we'll have to get it. Okay. I thought we already had it here. Sorry, hon. And, and uh, if we don't get it done, we can do it some other time. I should probably practice it a few times. <laughs> oh, looking forward to that home of the soul. What do we got next, hon? Okay, Nelson Good requested Open the Wells of Ah, Grace and Nelson Salvation. Good, the Wells of Grace and Salvation. F. I think we'll try this one in G. Love this song. Good, great prayer. Great prayer. Let's pray it together, all right? Lord, I am th whoops, the soul me. Lord, I am fondly, earnestly longing into thy holy likeness to Cleanse and refine. Woo! What are we asking for? What comes from? What causes refining? Usually fire. Uh, the Bible uses the illustration of gold being, uh, tri uh, yeah, uh, melting and the dross coming up on top. And, and uh, so the Lord puts us through the fire to cleanse and refine us. There's a lot of truth to that, isn't it? Have you been refined this week? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Patty Fadula. Patty. Requested under his wings. Patty Fedula, huh? Something. We're gonna try it that way. It's probably Fedula. No, I'm just kidding. Fedula a lot, huh? <laughs> anyway, under his wings. Boy, the verse that goes with that is this is from Psalms 57 1. You in the shadow of his wings shall I take my refuge. Yeah. Or oh, yay, in the shadow of his wings. I'm sorry, yay. I need to get my uh, lights a little brighter around here, huh? Let's see. This is written in uh, B flat, and it's in this book that always pitches everything down. So let's try C. Under his wings I'm safely abiding, though the night deepens and tempests are wild. Still I can trust him.
under the shadow of his wings. Reminds me of that story about the chicken. Uh, remember the fire went through and the, the barnyard and everything out back in the fire in the days when uh, fires went through the west and to the grass fires and it uh, destroyed mostly everything and they were walking through the barnyard and they came across a chicken a mother a hen and she was dead scorched over burned and they kicked at it a little bit and sure enough out from underneath came the little chickies. She had laid under the wings and had, or laid over the chickies and protected them in the fire. Our Lord did exactly that. He gave his life, took on our sins, gave his life to protect us, well, to give us freedom and, um, fr and uh, freedom from our sins. What an amazing God. We hide under his wings. That's one word picture there. What else you got, hon? Okay. Darlene Black requested victory in Jesus. Mm. Getting a lot of good hymns tonight, huh? Must be hymn sing night. I love it. Victory of Jesus, Darlene Black. Pretty darling. Darling. Darlene. <laughs> In the key of G, I think. Ooh, that's pretty high, though. Uh, A flat. No, that's cool. Yeah. I heard an old story How the Savior came from glory How he gave his life Song. We did that with the children one there. Thanks, Mike, uh, when we're for that done request. Singing, you can go back to the beginning and you'll. It'll yeah, be yeah, go back. It'll be on there, I'm sure. Hey, who asked for this one? This is a different one. Okay, oh, this was requested different. by Kay Yoder. Why me, Lord? Yeah, you know, Kay, sometimes we ask the questions why for a different reason. Sometimes we ask them because things are getting so crazy and we're like, why? You know, why do we have to go through that? And other times it's. What, what did we do to deserve this blessing? And uh, we can all ask that question. We didn't do anything to really deserve God's love and God's blessing. So tonight, uh, all of you on this living room sing along, just, just take a moment and open up your heart. Say, Lord, I, say, Lord, I receive all that you have for me. And that'll be a blessing to you. One thing that kind of cracked me up here, just sitting here looking at the screen and, and watching some of the sections come up, um, is how my white hair is just as white as a curtain, so you really can't see where my head stops. <laughs> I'll have to wear I'll have to wear a band or something around my head, or get a dark, dark curtain, huh? Anyway, that was from our for what it's worth department. <laughs> Why me, Lord? I 
think it's in G. Why me, Lord? What have I ever done to deserve even one of the pleasures I've known? Tell me, Lord. What did I ever do that was worth loving? Try to repay all I've taken from you. Maybe, Lord, I can show someone else what I've been through myself on my way back to you. So, Lord, help me, Jesus. I've wasted it so. that in on a moment of inspiration. I love that song. I love that prayer. And we do need the Lord. And um, I love the thought that, you know, we've wasted some years. Remember that old song, Wasted Years? Boy, I wonder how that one goes. I uh, better not try that one. But uh, I think about that sometime. God gave us so many opportunities. And I wonder uh, sometimes um, if we're maybe like our children are. Sometimes we give them things and they waste it. Um, but Thank God for the fact that he's redemptive and that it's never too late to do what he tells us to do. All right, let's go here. We're going to do some love songs tonight. I, was looking for, I love this part, honey, because I tell you, I love my wife and she loves me. That's the crazy thing. Isn't it amazing that she loves me? Uh, but, um, and uh, so the beautiful thing of marriage takes some time, takes some time, talk things over, pray together, and romance each other. Um, one of our favorite things to do at our age is not hiking like some like to do. I love to see these young couples go hiking. I can't talk her into hiking, but I'm kind of glad about that. At least too much hiking. Um, it's not camping necessarily. We do like church camp weekends and stuff. Uh, but kind of our one not of our tenting, though. one of our favorite things to do, and it's starting to show. You guys guess what it is. We won't tell. You guess what it is by. By knowing, by looking at it. <laughs> you ah, just gave it away. Did I give it away? <laughs> anyway, let's do this one called A Thing Called Love. Six foot six stood on the ground, weighed 235 pounds. I seen that giant of a man brought down to his knees by love. He was the kind of man that could gamble on love. Look 
you in the eye and never back up. I see you hit and cry like a little whip because of the love. You can't see it with your eyes, hold it with your hands. But like the wind, it covers our land, striking up the road, the heart of any man. This thing called love. Well, it can hit you up, it can let you down, it can take your world and turn it all around. Like me, they struggle in doubt. They trouble their minds day in and day out. They're busy with living to worry about a word called love. But when I see a mother's tenderness as she holds a young close to her breast, it's then I thank God that the world's been. Betty and Steve who? Hubbard. Oh, the Hubbards, and they had an anniversary, and so did my sister and her hubby, Furman and Fanny, faithful watchers of the living room sing-along. And uh, I, I actually got it out of Furman a little bit. Sometimes he wishes that Fanny would turn it off. Okay? <laughs> but, but at least I think he said that. <laughs> anyway, so this is a love song, yet yeah, never going to do a happy anniversary song. Do we have the words to it? Oh, oh, that one. Oh, oh, I thought. Okay, all right, all right. I need my capo, and there you are, capo. We're going to do a song that some of you probably had sung at your weddings, but it's a pretty cool song. Such a feeling's coming over me. There's wondering most everything I see. Got a cloud in the sky, got the sun in my eyes, and I won't be surprised if it's a dream. Everything I want the world to be is now coming true, especially for me. Your love. 
Oh, oh my goodness, you did, Fanny. Oh, I wish you was here to sing it with us. Ay, 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 ay. I got the sniffles a little bit tonight. And the reason I was snorting is because I was trying not to sneeze. <laughs> if I snort, I go... <laughs> Keeps my nose from getting itchy, I think. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. <laughs> you guys remember when you got engaged and all that stuff? You knew where we went? Back in our day, everyone had to have engagement pictures. Do they still do that? I don't know. But anyway, we went. You remember where we went, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. We went to Longwood Gardens, and one of my favorite ones was where she was peeking out one side of the tree, and I was peeking out of the other side, looking at each other. We didn't put that on our gate, on our gate, on our engagement card. That didn't. We? we were too proper. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, which one? All of them. No. Okay, truckers. Hmm. Truckers and train. Okay, we gotta do this for the trainers and this for the truckers. <laughs> the trainers. Wait, 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 wait. We did just did we just do that one? No, we did. No, we did. Okay. I know some of you guys wait for loads or whatever, all that stuff. Well, we're gonna put you six days on the road and you're gonna make it home tonight. What you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna find Rocky Top. I hope I got it in there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. In the uh, for fun song book, uh, with the parodies with P or R, I'm not sure which one. Well, truckers, hope you had a good day. Hope you didn't have too many crazy, crazy drivers out there and missed loads and all that kind of stuff. My hat's off to you, boys. So keep on trucking and feeding America. <laughs> well, I pulled out Pittsburgh and rolled down the Eastern Seaboard. I got my piece of wound up, she's a running like never before. Just the speed's on the head, all right, but I don't see a cop in sight. And I'm gonna make it home tonight. I'm actually gonna be funny. I got ten full of gears and a Georgia overdrive. I'm drinking lots of coffee and my eyes are open wide. I just passed Jenny in a while. I've been a passing everything in sight. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight. Well, it seems like a month since I kissed my baby goodbye. I can have a lot of women, but I'm not like some other guys. I can find one to hold me tight, but I can never make the leaves all right. Six days on the road, and I'm gonna make it home tonight. Whoops. Well, a rich little old, but that don't mean she's slow. There's a flame from her stack and the smoke's blowing back at Changed gears here, guys. Pitches and uh, forgot what gear I was in. Forgot what pitch I was in, so I went to the wrong gear. Now that happened to me once, guys. Now I never drove 18 wheelers long distance, but in the summer months back when I was teaching school, uh, I drove a couple years for Dan Lapp, who had two um, tri or two coal bucket uh, tri axles, and we would haul sand from Maryland uh, to uh, Delaware to and rock to and rock back from Pennsylvania and. Uh, I remember one time I was going up at 896, that windy, curvy, stupid thing, and I was just learning how to run that, that Mac, and, and, and I missed a gear. I had a load, and I'm going way up there. I missed a gear big time. I had to come to a stinking complete stop, and there was a long line of traffic behind me, before I, and I had to take off again on that hill. <laughs> I'll tell you what. There was, there was guys on the radio who were saying some unkind things about me. All I did was I keyed up and I said, Hey, I was just a rookie. Give me a break. <laughs> oh, anyway. Honey, can you find it? Oh, come on. Where did I put that thing? It's not in the orange book with parodies. What are you looking Parody of Rocky Mountain High. I'm pretty sure I put it in there, huh? In the book with P. Look in the letter P. You know what? I bet I put it in the... In the, in the green book with the letter P because I put it in, wait, no, I'm sorry babe she's still looking for that thing well while she looks for that thing oh let me think Dan Lapp was a good guy to drive for and uh, I had been a rookie I had no very little heavy load experience before I, I did drive truck uh, for a number of years or years a couple years I think 
uh, before I was married when I drove uh, for Seidel Zake Farm, and I pulled the 18 wheeler around a little bit uh, with um, with Norman Schwarzenegger when we were moving his stuff. Well, where was that at? I'm so sorry. Thank you, Trevor. Now, if I don't butcher this too bad, Galen, this is for you. If I butcher it, it's for me. All right. <laughs> and uh, I sat down and I practiced it a little bit, but uh, yeah, I might get messed up. So this is a parody of Rocky Mountain High. He was born back in Oregon on the 2020th year. No, I'm sorry. Let's try it. It was. It was. I wasn't born back. Let's try this again. I told you guys. Might might have some mistakes here. It was born back in Oregon on the 2020th year. A, a guitar, a camera, and a song. There in the living room, sing along. We tried to spread good cheer when the quarantine day seemed so long. Can you see our living room? Friends far and near, we welcome you. Join with us singing praise to God most high. In the living room, Colorado. In the living room, Colorado. All the ways in which God would move. We look back in amazement at what He has done while we worship in the living room, sing along. Can we see in our living room? Friends, far and near, we welcome you. Join with us, sing. Pretty cool. Um, I, I love your words. There's depth to them. I like that. Thank you for doing that, man. Uh, yeah, we'll probably say that. That should maybe become our theme song, huh? <laughs> uh, if we have a theme song. All right. Somebody said praying for Gerald and Jan in New Orleans. He's in the ICU and she's in a hotel with COVID. Are you kidding? Oh my goodness. So sorry about that, Gerald and Jan. Heavenly Father, right now, while we're thinking of it, we pray that you would just come and bring healing and your touch. We pray that you would give wisdom and protection from mistreatment, from misdiagnosis and all of that stuff. And that your wisdom would just come in and you would heal. And, and Father God, just, just touch them with your love, with your presence in a special way. We pray this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. We don't know who they are, but the Lord does. All right, where are we going to next, Baby Cakes? Okay. I'm feeling I'm Lucille Miller requested follow the path of Jesus. This, I just had a flashback memory. When we first got computer and went online, we came across the cutest little song. She's my sweetie pie. Uh, you're my... You're my 
Yeah. Sugar plum, yeah. sweetie. Honey bun, honey bun sugar plum, sweetie. Yum, yum, yum. yum. And at first, <laughs> I loved it. It was really weird. But for some reason, I remember playing it to one of our kids, holding him on my lap. Might have been Trevor. And they started crying. They didn't like <laughs> it. scared him. I might have had it turned too loud or something. I'm not sure. There's Trevor. Yeah, let's show that puppy rock again you just got. We had to hey, we got a letter today from the Hoovers. Thank you, Hoovers. You are so kind. What a, what a blessing to hear from you every once in a while. You guys are getting our address and the mail is finding all its, its way all the way out here to Colorado. It's weird for me. When I'm in Oregon, I, don't send, I didn't seem so far from Pennsylvania. Now when I'm in Colorado, it seems far. And it's a lot closer, isn't it? What's wrong with that picture? It has been a change for us, the uh, the beauty. Now, yeah. now, now, Trevor, tell us about you this a little bit. You want to show it up by the camera? Yeah, take it up to the camera. Um, 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 oh, Kathy. Kathy, Kathy Valentine Park showed it. Um, oh, they're from Washington. Okay, Kathy, thank you. Jan and Gerald are. She, she had um, someone paint this and uh, bring it all the way and, and mailed it to us. It's really cool. It's a rock. Popcorn 22221. Thank you, Trevor. And you flip it around, and they did a great job of picking popcorn. Oh. <coughs> popcorn there. So, ooh, that popped my back a little bit. So, anyway, Trevor, you can regular the ball game. We or showed this again because yeah. we had to erase the part where we showed it before. Yeah, yeah. Is, is there. Uh, oh, yeah, it's Monday. Okay. Monday's Trevor got a brand new baseball bat, and Matt Overholt took him to the batting cage. And, Getting some practice, and he's hoping next year he was uh, to be Someone on the team. Some, uh, between this year and next year, I'll be playing. Yeah, 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 and, and not only that, church camp's coming up, and they probably have a ball game there, so uh, you get to play then. I, I, I get to play too. I got to get in practice, man. I got to do my stomach pull-ins and lose a lot of weight, and, and I got to do my thumb exercises. By the way, Who's did you know life? when I was cleaning household goods, you scrub, 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 you, you just clean, 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 scrub, scrub, scrub. And, and my hand started cramping so bad that it looked like this. It cramped like like that. I'm like, oh my word, I can't play guitar. I could not move it for a while. And it hurt. I never had cramps like that before that I recall. Anyway, enough of chit chat. That was from our what is worth department. What do we got, Vase? This is for Lucille Miller. Follow the path of Jesus. Lucille Miller, you think you make me think, well, you don't, but your name reminds me of an old song that is not a good song to sing. Is an old song that you picked to find time. Believe me, Lucille. <laughs> anyway, so follow the path of Jesus. Yeah, you guys, what do you need? Keys? Oh, you gotta walk. You're not gonna wait till I'm done so I can go with you. I'll say, but I can go with you, Buck. Well, I always like to go watch a ball game. You usually just sit here and watch this anymore. No, I don't. You like it last? I did last Monday night. That's a lie. Here you go, Buck. Uh, oh, you, sir! Not like handing the keys to your car. I just washed it, so don't go over any dirt roads. <laughs> I did. I'm not taking over dirt roads going over a hundred miles an hour. No. Yeah, over my, never mind. All right, now back. Finally back. Sorry about that interruption, guys. That's what happens in the living room sing along. What we got? Follow the path of Jesus by who again? Honey? Lucille. Yeah. Hey, this is a good song, Lucille. Uh, we're gonna sing it in the key of D. Follow the path of Jesus, walk where his footsteps lead. He paid his beating presence, every council of me. Watch while the hours are flying, ready some good to do. Quick while his voice is called.
remember singing that when I was a kid in school. Um, oh, that was your dad's favorite song, Miss Dale. Cool. All right. Yeah. And uh, I, Gail, did we sing this in Parksburg? I think maybe we did. Or maybe it was the next school I went to. Anyway, good song. We do need to follow the path of Jesus. Well, honey, you did great on that, by the way. Mm. Okay, Jeanette San requested God on the mountain. Oh, yeah. God in the valley is the God on the mountain. The God on the mountain is the God in the valley. Aren't you glad he doesn't just leave us when things are going good? Or uh, is it just with us when things are going good? I just had a brainstorm. Might end up being a drought. But I'm going to try this.
What's that? No, I can't. That's too low in D, okay. I think. Oh, maybe not. Hey, Maxine Berger requested I'll Fly Away. I'll Fly Away, Maxine. I think this might be our last song for tonight before we fly away. Um, um, oh, wait, you got a couple more? Yeah. All right. Maxine, this is for you, but, um, you know, um, what was I going to say? Man, I forgot what I was going to say, so it must have been important. Oh, yeah, uh, Ed Miller, boy, being off the road with COVID, now you're getting back on. Isn't it amazing how when, you, when you're struggling with illness and once you get over it, finally get over it, especially with the COVID thing, um, you're just so happy. You just enjoy things that you had almost forgotten that you enjoy. <laughs> I think of that, uh, especially for those of you who've been through some crazy times. Yeah. All right. takes place. That would be even better, wouldn't it? Bop, 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 and we all go leave this world. What do you got next, baby cakes? I thought we was out of songs. Huh? Nope. Still got a few more requests. Yeah. Hey, thanks for putting these requests in, guys, and thanks for singing along. And, and Kathy, thanks for doing those words again, by the way. Um, Oh, Brian Yoder is brother. Brian Law, our son in law. We know Brian, don't we? I, I don't know if it's, it's that Brian. Long. Well, we don't know if it's the same one or not, but we met one of them and his wife out in um, L.A. Um, a while back, a long while back at a, at a marriage seminar. So I don't know if it's that Brian or not, but yeah, we'll stop and pray for Brian. Heavenly Father, again, we come to you over this prayer request, and uh, we do not know all the details at all, but we know that there is someone who needs healing. There is a family who is uh, struggling with fear, not knowing what's going to happen. And we pray for wisdom for the doctors, if that's your will. We pray that your will would be done and that there would be healing uh, for, your, for your glory, that your kingdom can uh, continue on. And Lord, thank you that you heal just the same today as you did many years ago. Help us to, by faith, believe and receive that. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. All right. Where we got Maybe we're sneezing because of the new couch. <laughs> Maybe they had cats. No, I started sneezing when I was blowing dust out of luggage today. You, there's a lot of dust you blow out of that It's stuff. not a new couch, by the way. It's no, it's not a brand store. new couch. It's a used one. The Lord provided it. We, 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 it, it showed up at the thrift store. And um, we went, measured everything, and got it. Now we're trying to figure out how to use it. Well, that's another discussion for another time. All right. Okay. Um... Jill Coons requested someone to thank. All right, Jill. Love this song, Someone to Thank. All right, where's all my bass singers here? We're going to put this one in the key of C, I think. No, that's going to be too high. Let's go with A. To me, there is someone who daily might be stuck provide. 
Still sorry about this moving camera bit. I don't know. It's annoying. I got a software update. I thought that would take care of it. I do notice that it seems like if I do this a lot, it, it, it goes into shaking, but now it doesn't. Yeah, there it does. I don't know. Uh, it's frustrating, but God knows why. Um, song, one of my favorite songs that Casting Crown sings. I love the rhythm and everything. We'll see if we can get it. 63 year old man can get it. But I'll tell you something. I love the message. God did not just intend for the church to survive. He intended us to thrive. And sometimes we're so focused on surviving that we forget about that abundant river of life flowing out from each of us, the abundant life that we can have, even though we're going through crazy times. Now, that's the upside down kingdom, isn't it? We're going to leave you with this song. And I changed oh, to uh, grow because I, you know, I like every sound that means something. <laughs> I'm a little weird. I mean. Grow. Into your word, we're pretty deep to know 
our fathers part. Into the world we're reaching out to show them who you are, the living water flowing through God. says he dies daily to himself but we thrive in Christ Jesus when we learn to know more about who he is and experience the Holy Spirit's presence in our lives I'm still learning about that guys I'm learning a lot about that and I am so grateful for the patience of God that he had on this old country boy let's pray Heavenly Father we come to you again just rejoicing in what you have done in our lives you've saved us You've delivered us. You, you, you throw the chains asunder that want to bind us. Heavenly Father, I pray that for everyone in this living room. If people are struggling with bondages tonight, with addictions, with habits, with lies that are not supposed to be theirs, we come against them in the name of Jesus. We know that you, Jesus, have come. And when your presence comes in, the chains just have to disappear. The darkness goes away. So we pray for wisdom. We pray for your holy presence to come, Holy Spirit, and, and, and live within each of us. Heavenly Father, for those needing healing from COVID or everything else, we just lift them up to you. Those needing healing emotionally, Lord. It's been a tough time emotionally for many people. And Father God, we know that you can heal there as well. Father, we pray for those who need healing spiritually, who are wounded by Satan's darts. We just pray for a complete, total healing, Father, as only you can do. We pray this in Jesus' precious name, thanking you for your goodness. Amen. Gotta run. I'm getting too excited here. Better turn this off. <laughs> God bless you guys.